Hi welcome or oh, welcome back to my channel today I'll be talking about sodium functions of sodium food sources of sodium replacers of sodium and deficiency and excess of sodium so if that's something that interests you then please keep on watching it has vital role in maintaining body fluid balance it is major cation present in extracellular fluid and can easily pass in and out of cell opposite to potassium table salt is most common source of sodium sodium concentration is in blood is uh, approximately 142 m mol per liter in 70 kg adult 100 grams of sodium concentration is present with half in bone and 40% in acf functions it maintains water and electrolyte balance in extracellular fluid and intracellular fluid maintain acid base balance sodium works with chloride and bicarbonate ions in regulation of acidity and alkalinity of the body fluids it helps in uptake of nutrients like nutrients and metabolites are moved across the cell membrane by using the power of the sodium gradient cell permeability sodium plays an important role in cellular exchange via sodium pump and atp pump normal muscle irritability sodium takes part in transmitting nerve impulse along the nerve and muscle membrane resulting in nerve excitability and muscle contraction maintenance of blood volume and blood pressure kidney plays a major role in retention of sodium and water to maintain blood volume this is regulated by anti diuretic hormone and the renin angiotensin system sodium is excreted from the body and helps in maintaining the blood volume and blood pressure which provides taste salt is one of the basic taste and uh, pro- which provide taste and used in all salty food pro- preparation and in almost every meal it acts as a food preservative use of more than 12 to 16% salt in food preparation like pickle and so uh, sauces reduces the chance of food spoilage so all these are the functions of sodium Moving to recommended intake 1.1 to 1.3 grams or 2.8 to 8.3 grams is safe and adequate for Indian adult population 1 gram of salt is uh, almost 400 uh, mg of sodium Now those who can't use salt they can use salt replacers sodium intake is restricted in edema high blood pressure other cardiac problems and renal diseases to make food edible and tasty use of herbs lemon and change in cooking process is done to enhance the taste of meal with minimum use of salt low sodium salt contains potassium Moving on to food sources. So first, I have all the foods that are high above thirty mg per hundred gram. So they are beet green, parsley, beet root, carrot, egg and egg product, animal meat, and certain types of fishes. Then there is spinach, fenugreek leaf, leaf cauliflower, mango raw, radish, cloves, coriander seeds, cumin seeds. Fenugreek seeds, linseed, the fellow milk, koa, squids, and crabs. Now these are low that is below 2 mg per 100 gram wheat flour refined field beans black brown white ash gourd bamboo shoot tender bean scarlet bottle gourd capsicum colocasia stem baby corn apple banana blackberry cherries currants black dates gooseberry grapes guava that is that have pink flesh lemon juice lime sweet pulp lychee mango ripe orange pulp and palm fruit peach pear pineapple star fruit strawberry watermelon almond pine seeds sunflower seeds walnut sugarcane juice so all these are the food sources moving to deficiency sodium is depleted with the loss of body fluids particularly in diarrhea and vomiting athletes heavy workers who 
uh, who often sweat loses sodium through sweat excessive use of diuretics can also decrease serum sodium level sodium excretion is increased in addison's disease in which acth hormone is deficient serum sodium level less than 125 meq per liter this uh, this is called as hypo natremia it is characterized by weakness giddiness muscle cramps lack of energy and to they can get get cold extremities and then consequences serum sodium level more than 150 meq per liter this is called as hypernatremia it is common in infants and elderly this is caused by reduced intake so that's all for this video thanks for watching my video if you liked it then please hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe for more such videos until next time eat healthy stay safe and stay happy